Hello viewers, I am Kausalya. Today we are going to discuss about the procedure to design a lead compensator using Bode plot. The step 1 is the open loop gain k of the given system is determined to satisfy the requirement of the error constant. That is, a transfer function will be given in the problem with the constant k. To find the value of k, there will be some other things which will be given in the problem. For example, steady state error, velocity error constant or positional error constant, something like that. Right. Using those error constant values, we should find the value of k. That is our step number one. Right. And step two is the Bode plot is drawn for the uncompensated system. That is for the given system. For the given transfer function, we have to draw the Bode plot. So as we all know, Bode plot consists of two types of plot. One is known as magnitude plot and another one is known as phase plot. Right. Step 3 is the phase margin of the uncompensated system is determined from the Bode plot. So from the Bode plot, we are going to find what is the value of phase margin. And step 4 is find the amount of phase angle to be contributed by the lead network by using the formula. That is, here we will be finding the phase margin of the uncompensated system. Right. That phase margin won't satisfy with the requirement given in the problem. Right. If that gets satisfied, then no need of any compensator. So, there will be some difference. So, we are going for the design of compensators. So, here find the amount of phase angle to be contributed by the lead network that is lead network should contribute some phase angle to satisfy the requirement which is given in the problem. So it is given by the formula pi m is equal to gamma d minus gamma plus epsilon. So here this pi m is the maximum phase sorry phase lead of the lead compensator and gamma d is the desired phase margin that is this is the phase margin given in the problem and gamma is the phase margin of uncompensated system and finally epsilon it is the additional phase phase lead to compensate for shifting gain crossover frequency usually the value of epsilon will be taken as 5 degrees right and step 5 is to find the transfer function of lead compensator so, initially we have to find the alpha. So, alpha is given by 1 minus sin pi m divided by 1 plus sin pi m. Just now we had calculated the value of pi m in the previous step. Right. So, just substitute the value over here and calculate the value of alpha. The next step is from the Bode plot, determine the frequency at which the magnitude is minus 20 log 1 by square root of alpha. Alpha just now we had find out. So just substitute the value of alpha over here. Right. Then we need to calculate the t. Right. So the value of t is given by omega m is equal to 1 by t into square root of alpha. So here that is the magnitude corresponding the frequency which corresponds to this magnitude is known as omega m, right. So, we know omega m, we know alpha, just find out the value of t and the transfer function of lead compensator is given by this formula, right. We know t, we know alpha, so just substitute over here and we will be having our transfer function, right. And the step 6 is find the open loop transfer function of the compensator system. So, here as usual, same like our uh, previous case so here you see first we will look at our block diagram right so this is our given transfer function or transfer function of uncompensated system right and here this is the transfer function of our lead compensator right and here this 1 by alpha is this is nothing but a attenuation factor right so you see the lag compensator is connected in series with G of S as shown. When the lead network is inserted in series with the plant, the open loop gain of the system is attenuated by the factor alpha. So, an amplifier with a gain of 1 by alpha has to be introduced, right? So, there may be attenuation by factor alpha. In order to eliminate this alpha, here we are including a gain with a value of 1 by alpha. Right. 
in series with the compensator to nullify the attenuation caused by the late compensator. So, when we read in the form of sentences, it might be looking very tough, but actually it is not so. So, just we know the basic things, right? We know how to uh, how to insert a compensator, right? Compensators are always connected in series and this is an attenuation factor, right? You see here, we are having alpha, right? In order to nullify this effect, here we are including 1 by alpha, that's it. So, open loop transfer function is here we are having three blocks in series. So, we have to combine these three blocks. How to combine? We have to multiply. So, when you multiply here, you see this is our final open loop transfer function of the compensated system, right? This alpha and alpha cancels each other. Then, step 7 is verify in the design. So, Finally, the Bode plot of the compensated system is drawn. Just now, we had to find out the transfer function of the compensated system in step 6, right? Again, we have to draw the Bode plot for that transfer function and verify whether it satisfies the given specifications. That is, in specification, there will be something like phase margin should be like that, right? So, after drawing the Bode plot of the compensated system, just check for it. If the phase margin of the compensated system is less than the required phase margin, okay, this won't happen in most of the case because while solving problems, they are very lengthy, right? This won't happen, but anyway, if something it happens, this procedure has to be followed. If the phase margin of the compensator system is less than the required phase margin, right? Then, repeat step 4 to 10 by taking epsilon as 5 degree more than the previous design. Initially, the value of epsilon is taken as 5 degrees and we had find out the transfer function of lead compensator and finally the transfer function of the compensated system and we have drawn the Bode plot. If that doesn't meet the specifications, that is when phase margin is expected to be 30 degrees, the compensated system should give the phase margin of 30 degrees. In some cases, if it is less than 30 degrees, something like 18 or 10 degrees, then what is the procedure is we, you have to increase the value of epsilon. That is the value of epsilon is 5 degree more. Initially, the value of epsilon is taken as 5. If that specification, if that design doesn't meet the specification, then you have to increase the value of epsilon as 10 degrees, right? You have to increase 5. This is what which is mentioned here, right? But actually speaking, this won't happen because this is a very lengthy problem, right? It takes much more time comparatively. So, the thing is, whenever you make a design of a compensator system, it is damn sure it will meet your specifications provided if you are doing everything correct, right? So, regarding this uh, design you must be very very familiar and thorough with the thorough with the concept of how to draw a body plot that is the basic thing here if that body plot is drawn well and good drawn correctly then the remaining steps are very easy you can do it right if you have any doubt let me know in the comment section hope i had made the concept clear you will get a clear idea if we start solving problems thank you